It's the show of the week. Hello! Welcome back to Show of the Week, the weekly segment where we talk musical theater and where I wear flannel. We're outside on a gloomy Denver day, so I could practice, you know, for New York next week where I'm gonna be. But that's beside the point. The point is, the Show of the Week this week is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is a 2005 musical based on the 1998 movie of the same name. And it opened to mixed reviews, it played pretty well, was nominated for a bunch of awards but only won one, but I think one of the most interesting things about Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is its intended audience. Now, I know I've read this somewhere before and I wish I could remember where I've read it, but if you know where it is, will you leave it down in the comments? But I have heard Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, along with the other Yazbek musical that's well known, The Full Monty, described as musicals for straight men. Now, clearly that can't be entirely true because I watch the musicals, but it's an interesting distinction, and I don't want to get too much into stereotypes, but there is definitely something about that idea that gay men and ladies like musical theater, and there aren't a lot of shows that have a distinct appeal for heterosexual guys. And so it's interesting, right, to think of the show through that lens, and what is it about Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that might appeal to that kind of new sensibility that other shows don't? And there's a lot of lewdness to it, there's a lot of songs about sex, and a lot of the show is about deceiving pretty women. I don't know, it's just an interesting thought to talk about this musical through a new subset of audience members who might not have other shows that they would enjoy. And there's certainly a lot of well-founded criticism about this show. It's very formulaic, it relies on the producer's formula a lot, and was certainly capitalizing on the only two or three year old success of that show. But nevertheless, I think it's a very interesting study in a movie adaptation into a musical, with certainly some aspects that were done well. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, go listen to it, and I'll see you next week. I am eyeballs deep in getting ready for New York next week, but you can expect an explosion of content to be coming your way. Jimmy and I have got wonderful things in store, some great surprises. I'm super excited. My plane leaves on Wednesday, so keep your eye on this space starting Wednesday morning. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of fun stuff to watch. I'll see you then.